Welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Tyson Destiny. Last time, remember? We actually got rid of the invaders. And now... Now that we have Shin... Geta on our team... Things just got a little more interesting. So, let's go. Story so far is this. The dismantling of the Geta Core of Shin Dragon is happening as Do Josh and the others watch. Odella asked Uso why he didn't leave with Shakti right now. Uso says that he'll help out as soon as the dismantling of Shin Dragon is completed. At the command room, Hayato and the others suddenly see invaders and metal beasts come out from from near Shin Dragon. There's suddenly a transmission. Well, actually, it doesn't go like that, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what's actually happening. The dismantling of the Gedekor of Shin Dragon is happening as Josh and the others watch. Odell asks us so why he didn't leave with Shakti right now. And he says he'll help until the dismantling of Shin Dragon is done. I'm skipping through all this. <laughs> I know that's a sucky story, but you know. The fool just won't leave! At the command room, Hayato and the others suddenly see invaders and metal beasts come out near, near Sin Dragon. There is suddenly a transmission. It is Sao Tome. Seem he also survived. What's worse is that his body is now that of an invader. Whether this is res is what's responsible for his resurrection 13 years ago is unknown. He says that he is to meet his son, or to be precise, his daughter. He wants to meet Genki, or she is now known as Kuramake. Kei is stunned and asks Binky to tell her that's a lie. When Binky paused, she's speechless. Genki says that Genki had been through the worst uh, of the worst. Thirteen years ago, when the world was permeated with ghetto radiation, she lost her memory. Knowing that the Santome haters would take revenge out on Genki for being of Saltomi's blood. Genki devised a lie, taking advantage on the fact that Genki was raised as a boy and thought of thought of as one, telling the Saltome haters that this is not Genki, a boy, but Kay, his daughter. This is where Saltome comes in. Like I said before, he returns as an invader.
Kay screamed, learning of the truth, and suddenly that she was Saltome Genki and her sister Michelle. She goes berserk and heads out to the Geta Machine. Intending to kill Saltome. But really, I should go like this. 13 years ago, when the world was premiered with Geta, Geta Radiation. I know I keep repeating this shit, don't I? When the world was permeated with Geta, and Geta Radiation, she lost her memory, knowing that some of the haters... Some of the, some of the haters would take it out on Sal Tommy's blood. So, Banky devised a lie. Taking advantage of the fact that Genki was raised as a boy and thought of as one. And this is where she doesn't believe it. She's blown away by this. But anyway, I'm going to skip through this because I've already said this. But I'm going to tell you the story as it is written. <laughs> Kay screamed, learning of the truth, and suddenly she, and suddenly that she was saw Tommy Genki, and her sister Michelle. She goes berserk and heads out to the Geta Machine, continuing to kill Saul Tommy. Schwartz came in and blocked the door, planning to kill Kay for being Saul Tommy. They stared intently at each other before she fired Miskern. Kay screamed as to why she is human. She wasn't. He could kill her easily. Kay ran past him. Met Go, who tells her not to go. That he will protect her. And this is her screaming. And this is where I tell about Schwartz blocking the way. And this is where he screams at her. And Josh was like, what the fuck's going on here? And they stare off at each other. He fires. And I missed her. Schwartz screamed as to why she isn't she is human. Or if she wasn't. He could kill her easy. Kay ran past him. And met Go who tells her not to go. That he would protect her. Kay was in the mood. And launched. And launched. <laughs> she just left. So Banky plans to go after her, but his wounds are still fresh and is tearing due to the stress and pressure. So Go tells Guy to pilot the Shin Bear instead of Banky. So now, what happens here? 
Everyone launch. Everyone launches, and here's Dr. Salto, man. Kay lunges at Sao Tome, followed by Go. Suddenly they disappear into Shin Dragon. Benke tells Guy to come back for now while the others fight. goes on from here. So I'll tell you later. Right now, crap. Right now, we have no get a team. Because Benke just told Guy to go back while the others fight for now. So. So anyway, we're fighting the invaders again. And they are right around here. And we are not that far off. It's kind of hard to tell a story, but with scenes being told back and forth, but I think I did my best. So don't fault me for it, please. And the invaders are moving, like so. We're going to attack, like so. And begin the incision! Screw the mission, it's the incision, man. Aside, a story aside, pretty much we just stepped into the storyline of Shin Geta Robo. Now, the Japanese release was called Till the End of the World, I believe. While, while the U.S. release was called Armageddon. I wonder if any, I wonder if any companies are going to pick up trying to bring out Get a Robo, the original. Because, yes, I am curious. I believe last one, I think it was the Zon Scare, if not leading me up here. Because I think that's what they were facing in, v in V Gundam, the Zon Scare. 
if not ligament tear, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, don't quote me on it. If I have something wrong, please correct me. And trust me, I'm trying patches. But until we actually have a good copy, I mean a real 100% working patch of the ROM, this will have to do. Because I'm trying. I'm honestly trying. But then again, I'm not a translator. It only gets better after this. Oh yeah, let's move them closer. Shoot. See? It's good I set more ammo. Because I only had 10 from the start. But add 10 more. Plus you bump that son of a bitch up to the max. Oh yeah. But, no, I haven't forgot about R, because there's a certain unit that hasn't seen the light of day since. And it is of the Gundam variety. I'm going to leave it up to your imagination. going to do later on today is I'll probably more than likely walk down to GameStop pick up my copy of black and white of course I'm keeping black And hopefully, get a copy of uh, Sam Samurai Legend Musashi. <laughs> A 
What you just heard? That was my door. Or what was left of my door. <coughs> of course, the thing is, if you somehow use the minus, thir minus 30%, that's a great bonus. Especially if you have beam cannons. Or units with big beam cannons. Trust me. It's all the more better. So, Guy wants to join the fight again. And so does Banky. So, Banky went to Hayato, demanding to know where K is just now. And just what is Go? Hayato and the doctor tell him that Go was born for Shin Dragon and that he is related to Saito Man. Years ago, Professor Saito learning of the invaders still being alive, decided to create Shin Dragon to fight it, along with a new humanity to pilot it. which is created from his cell and Michelle's cell to create Go. The other two were created from cells of Yoma and Hayato, but were failures. K is drawn into Sh Shin Dragon because she is a Saotome. And her DNA codes are needed f to evolve Shin Dragon. That is what the invader Saotome might be aiming for. So Banky tells Hayato to stop attacking since K is in there. But Hayato says that now is the time to destroy Shin Dragon. Since it is no longer humanity's savior. More story after this. But quite possibly it is time for a beatdown. Everybody go stabby stabby. Well, there's not much of the invaders left. I mean, they're just they're getting their asses handed to them. I do believe that's a missile. Yep, that's a missile. Ouch! Because sometimes 
even humanity can go suck it. So what happens now? Binky tells Hayato to... Well, let's see. Binky says that humanity can go kiss his ass. If it means hurting K. concerns right now. I can understand, you know, it's like if my girlfriend was in danger, it's so for the good of the team, we for the good of the team, for the good of humanity, I would say fuck humanity, I'm going in to get my girl. Or if my parents were in there. I was like, fuck the world. And all of a sudden Oliver and Junko re reappear as reinforcements. And attack Shin, Sh attack Shin Dragon for Hayato's command. So that's Oliver. And that's Junko. And... They're free. This attack caused Go and K to come out without Shin Dragon evolving. Gun comes out a bit afraid, but Go leads them through the combination. Yes, ominous foreshadowing. Break out the beam cannon.
Yeah, I know. It was shitty, alright? That was shitty, but what do you expect from a... But what do you expect... What, what do you expect from a non-powered up unit? I am Uso, Paul, Moadib. Join me in the beatings. Alright, give me your stupid energy! In phase, yep, I'm sure. Beam rifle. No, nope, beam cannon. I know it's a beam weapon. Either that of a rifle or a cannon. Doesn't really matter. Somebody's about to get their ass handed to them. You're that damn close to me. Gotta love that. It's a difference what one good nap makes. Go levels up. I dub her Shing Get a Squid.
might turn it down a bit because it is a bit too loud for my ears. Give me your stupid energy. Give me your wishbone! I want an Easter egg, I want an Easter egg, I want an Easter egg. I'm kind of curious. If I were to turn down the TV set, oh my. I guess I wouldn't be affected. Well, so much for that idea. Been dive bomb, sir. Should we change? Yep, I think it's it's best left said that um you don't exist anymore, sir. Yep, because it's only right. He needs no work for it. Seriously, he doesn't. So, let's see. Guy attacks Solotome with K planning to kill him as Schwartz goes berserk. 
himself attacking the source of his pain and frustration. Oh my god, that's ugly! Jeez! That is one ugly son of a bitch! My goodness! Now the good thing about this enemy here, about Sao Tome, he's not gonna run. So you know what? We're gonna wail away on his ass. But we're gonna try the Shingeta combination attack. And the Shing and the Shingeta combination attack is this. All three members of the Geta Robot of the Shing Geta team attack with their best give out their best attacks. Open Geto! Open Geto! So mind you, that hurts. So if you want the best attack, that's your best attack right there. goes berserk himself attacking the source of his pain and frustration. Would it feel weird that the main player just sat back and watched? I didn't think so. Yeah, I would think, um, yeah, you would get stunned by that, wouldn't you? Let's see, should I whip out? No, I can't whip it out. Damn. I can't whip out the ghetto beam on his ass. Oh, well. Oh, it's got the Geta Boomer. Mm. The Geta Sky. You know what? Yeah, it's time to move in. We're going 
take out all his units and just mess up his whole entire existence. Yeah, it's so hard to actually go into text and, you know, try to read it, but... Oh, well, you know how it is. Oh, we are so close, and we are so going to use that. It's only right that we work with um, only storyline qualities. Like, if it's going to be a Get a Robo storyline, I'm just going to I'm going to use only the Get a Robo characters. I'm not going to use. The Gundam characters are my main, or my main um character. But I'm going to use those who are within storyline. So that explains why I'm using only half of my team. It makes sense. Trust me, it makes proper sense. Canon, canonical sense. Oh, it's just you and me, man. Bring it. Bring it. We're ready for y'all. Obiketto! That's like the nastiest attack I've ever seen. Obiketto! The Great Mountain Toss. Obiketto! The Get a Sky of Attack. And the drill barrage. How's that for fucking up your own day, huh? I think where I am right now. Oh, yeah. Where I am right now. Oh. Oh. We can so mess up his day right now. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. It's only him and his nasty ass 
Shin Dragon. Yeah. Offensive support? Oh yeah, and for those who are going to judge me about this, don't judge. Because, you know, while I may not know Japanese that well, I'm damn bold to actually play a game in Japanese while trying to retell the story or trying to make something up about the story as well as I can. I'm being creative of my work. Thank you. And for those who have low TV sets, I'm telling you right now, I'm about to scream. <coughs> Get to beam! <coughs> and Get a Beam doesn't really work all that well. Open Kanto! Yeah, if it were that easy, you know... Like I said, if it was that easy on, on the anime, yeah, I don't need to explain that. Really, I don't. Taking one for the team. That was definitely a miss. An intended miss. You know what, if I had to do this right, let's do this right. Tomahawk. Open Gantle! And the drill barrage. Get out of here, you disgusting fuck. Level ups go all around. Not now. Two levels, not now. Two levels, not now. And it's over. It ends with Saltome retreating and Shin Dragon escaping into another dimension to merge elsewhere. Back at the tower.
Schwartz looks at a picture and tells the person that it probably isn't his time to go meet them yet. When Kay asks what he's doing, he brushes her away, making her quite peeved and afterward alone. He admits to himself that there are good people using Geta energy. Oliver lectures Junko a bit about her fighting and tells Uso that aside from the head, the Hexa is like a victory. He also tells Uso and Mombet that the overhang cannon will be finished soon. See, it says right there, overhang cannon. I can tell you right now, yeah, it says Hada. Hada, Hada. Shakti is, as usual, fretting about Uso's change because of the victory. So Mabet asks Uso to stay on because most of the tower's force is destroyed and they're moving once more. So with that, we have clear stage three, and I will end it right here for the evening, because it is six o'clock, and knowing six o'clock here on a Sunday morning, I really should be asleep, but I am full of energy. I am ginky today. I am very ganky today, which is awesome. I like being ganky. Ganky is cool. So we'll power up the the Geta a little bit more. Let's power up Oliver's victory and Junko's mech, I think. I forgot I forgot what her mech was called. As well as the victory the V Gundam Hexa. So let's give the the Hexa more energy.
I think it's called like Gun Jeezies. Get your minds out of the gun. I didn't say jizz, okay? But anyway. Having redisposed everything, we're good to go. And I will call this an end part because that will do it for tonight's episode of Let's Play. Well, no, not a Let's Play. March of the Super Robot Wars. I, of course, have been the underdog of the underrated Pookie Izzy7. And you have just watched Super Robot Tyson Destiny. So until later on today, or whenever time I have, we shall head back into the destiny of the Super Robot Wars. Until then, and until the next episode, I am out.